Hey, what's up, my Walmart Stashions, and welcome back to another WoW Go Make It video. Today, we're actually going to be showing you a few things that you can actually make some gold out of. Also, too, as well, helping those players who actually need a gear. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is a instant respawn spot. Now, the instant respawn spots that I showed you before have been nerfed, so I have a lot of them that actually are out there. Now, I will say there is one spot that we do on our stream a lot that is not nerfed to the bone at all, and you can actually get BOE. Some of my subscribers already got BOE, so go check that out in the last video. But this spot, as you can see right here, is actually a good spot for ults. Now, if you did this quest already, which you probably already did because of the story, you probably have no access to this at all. But let's say you're getting a monk or a mage or anybody you actually want to level up. Now the thing is, this spot right here is an instant, really instant spot. Like compared to others that we've shown and so forth, these guys come back ASAP. So basically what you're going to want to do is you want to go through the Prodmore storyline. And once you actually get to the quest Enemies Within, you're not going to want to turn it in. You're just going to want to stay here and start hitting everybody if you're a monk or you can actually do the statue and pull them all to you once that done you're gonna notice that they drop greens they drop cloth actually linen and they drop everything else so you have a chance of boes here now this is a limited thing when i mean limited i mean this is only two people who haven't done this you will be stuck on a story quest so that means you cannot progress past this if you don't you know turn the quest in so other than that, it's a great instant respawn spot that I found when I was questing because I kind of held off on prod more because I didn't want the other spot to go away, but apparently the other spot is just there to be. So regardless if you do the quest from the other spot I've shown, you can actually do it. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about this instant spawn. I thought it was pretty amazing. So that said, let's move on to the next subject. All right, my mustaches, this next spot is actually going to be for skinning. Now, the thing is, I've shown you this spot for herbalism, but I never put skinning in place. Now, this is done with one of my subscribers, which was an amazing run, an amazing stream that we had, but I will say right now that if you did it by yourself you're going to get the same outcome because you're just killing the turtles and anything that can be skinned now the thing is birds cannot be skinned so you're not going to be able to do the birds just don't kill the birds or just stay away from them now i will say right now there's a place down the river that you're going to be following that has nothing but these big serpents and they give a lot of mist scales and so forth now that said you might want to just farm them and go on a mountain and the reason why i say that is because if you do that you're actually going to be able to go up uh, farm them go up on a mountain farm the bears farm uh, farm the goats and then come back down and they'll already be respawned so it's a really good thing. Now, here's my results of all the skinning, but I will say right now, this is rank one. This is not rank two, rank three. This is someone who doesn't skin at all. So basically, honestly, if it was rank two or rank three, it would be way better. And obviously I should do that. So that said, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this. I did show you this in a herbalism video. So basically when you do, you just follow the river. I call it the river faller. And you actually just come right back and you do it all over again. So you can put herbalism and skinning together with this and you can make a good profit out of this. Now that's it guys, let's get into the next subject. Alright guys, before we actually go on, the winner of the WoW token for the video of just regular watching is Richard Bongo, I think, Osaro? I think that's how you say your name. It will be in the description. Check it out. And you are the winner. You got until the next video to actually get with me and actually get your WoW token. Make a prod more character on US and you'll be fine. All right, my mustaches. Welcome to the last part of the video. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me in this whole video and this journey of my YouTube channel. It's been just an amazing run and thank you so much. All right, so basically the code word is going to be nice. So let's get into the last part of this video and that is basically how to gear fast your ults and how to actually gear efficiency. You know, just get basically do it the right way now there's a lot of people on you know youtube who do this and all stuff and they actually showed their ways now this is my way first off you're going to get to 120 obviously you're actually going to do normal dungeons while on the way to 120 also too as well you're going to kill rares make sure you kill every single rare because you never know you're going to get a boe or anything like that also too as well remember when you get to 120 gear is going to be 310 eye level in dungeons and it could actually warforge titanforge i will say step two is this okay you would think world quest but no it's not world quest do not do that go into heroics and just wreck heroics okay keep doing heroics until you get to an eye level of 315 plus i honestly suggest you to get to 325 is because you're going to get the most out of this once you hit that you're going to actually want to open up world quest that's when you open it up once you open it up you're going to notice that you can actually get 325 to 330 gear now don't get me wrong you'll get some 320 gears out there but nothing less than that i have not got anything less than 320 after i hit 330 now i will say too as well that there's all about rng on world quest but if you actually went lower level like say 305 and open world quest you're not going to get anywhere close to 330 
30 gear. So I prefer you to actually just wait until you're 325, then boom, open it. Open World Quest and you're just good to go. Now that said, World Quest gear scales from anywhere from 295 to 330. Now that's depending on what eye level you have. So like I said, the higher eye level, the better. Now that said, step five, do Mythics Weekly. Now this is something that is gonna be a little bit harder, but remember, if you follow the steps and you got to 330 or 330 plus, depending on if you got some Titan Forge, like I got a Titan Forge 355, I was like, wow, on a stream, that would actually help you out to get in Mythics even faster. So that said, guys, let me know in the comments below what you what do you thought about this? Do you think about this video pretty good? Do you think it was just like, you know, over the over the top? Like that said, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and as always, stay stashy. Actually gonna help you a lot. And the reason why I say this is because something with the scaling right now, and this has been proven that the eye level is actually what scales with the mobs, not your level. So basically, if you take all your gear off, 